Hello, so Geography at Southampton University has a 100th year anniversary, I've been going since 1914 and part of the celebration of that is I was asked to produce a poster and since there will only be a certain number of people at the poster session tomorrow I thought I'd also do an animated online version. So. The topic is flip learning in geography better than lectures. And the problem is that students are largely passive in lectures. And they can't replay and pause the lecture if they're having a problem. And during assimilation time, as in practicing, they're off site rather than on site, and it would be helpful if they were actually could communicate with me, the lecturer, doing this. So, here's a graphic kind of extending that idea. And it's asking the questions, what skills do you have? What are you good at? And how did you become good at it? And mostly it's practice, not lectures, that helps us to get good at something. So why, if we learn this way, do we teach this way? And another graphic here, talks about lectures and the transfer of information, so it's one to many. But actually it'd be better if that lecture had the students interacting with each other, practicing and making use of the fact the tutor's there and that they can talk to each other in class. So a solution to the passivity problem is flip learning. And in normal learning, you transfer, you have theory, in class and you practice out of class with a problem sheet. In the flipped approach, you transfer out of class, so you cover the theory out of class and you assimilate in class, so you practice in class. So I used this in my course, Design Skills for Maps and Presentations. And it's a course that covers the basic elements of cartography. What I did was five weeks of material were converted to a flip lecture design with short screencast videos and formative questions breaking them up and class activities uh, supporting those videos. So what were the results? Well the main one of the three Likert questions I asked here asked students if they agreed with the statement flip lectures at home class activity model is significantly better than normal lectures worksheet at home model. And students on average answered four, showing that they tended towards the strongly agree end of the scale, which is very rewarding for me. And I also asked them on this paper feedback to give open comments, so just free comments, whatever they felt like, and I grouped these together. And things they didn't like, well, eight of them said things along the lines of they couldn't ask questions during the movies. So during the theory at home, obviously I wasn't there to help them. However, positive comments, they can rewind and pause lectures. Eleven of them said something along that and how much they liked that. And it was also very convenient and flexible with time and location. So to conclude... Lectures on their own are passive, they're not very good for learning. Flip learning has students study theory at home and practicing in class. The results were very positive. Uh, the Likert question showed that. They had problems, they didn't like the fact that the lecture wasn't available to help, but they did like the ability to control the pace of theory learning at home and also to be able to control place uh, or where they studied. So that's the poster. If you visit the Prezi here, you can see the poster and explore it in detail as well.